So another thing that's easily noticeable, service guys like the serviceability, is on a Bomag tail, down in the lower leg, you've got your sight glass for your oil level, you've got a plug for your oil fill, but we also have a drain plug for the oil drain. If you look at the competition, they have one hole for both things. So you've got to tilt it back, lay it back to drain the oils out of them. Right. Or if you're the servicing them to put them in service, yes. it's up and down, it's up, up and down, up and down, down, down until you get the level right. Where we, when you put ours in service, you feel here and you check the level right here, you never have to lay it down or move it around. Yeah. Okay? Hey, Rob, now, we, doing, we have, the, uh, we're one of the... We're Wait, one don't of you the, have to lay it down to fill it up? No, huh? no. So why... No, you want to fill it up in this position oh, like in this that right position. Here. Put the yeah. funnel in like that? Yeah, put the funnel in right. and fill it in this position. With our Tamp 2, we still have the low oil shutdown system. As you'll see right here at the bottom of our engine. But the difference with our low oil shutdown is our unit is sensing the oil level now. It will not allow it to start if it's low on oil. There's a red indicator light here. So when you turn this on, if it's low on oil, that's going to flash red, but the engine will not start until you top it off with oil. So you can't so dry start that, it. So you can't dry start it versus our competitors right. that you can dry start. They, they switched. They switch? Multi-equip still has the GX100. Their, their new model has the GX120R, yep. and it's the same as ours. On the new model. Yeah. The new model. Okay. From, yeah. from good Wacker. point. So I haven't seen any new yeah. model. Yeah, the, the new only ones does. I really see in my yeah. field. Now, multi-equip's going from the GX100 to this, the 120R. Is and they'll have, yeah. now you can always tell, right. they'll do this and look at the little green solenoid under there. Yeah. If that's there, they have it too. Yeah. Right. Right. Good right. point. Thank you. I don't see any MQs really. I see black. I don't see MQs. And Bomag. That's yeah. where we're at. Big and yeah. Mark Britt. Yeah. Another thing to point out for these is when you're loading or unloading these, the one thing that I always talk about is our handle design. Our handles pass into this. But if you notice, I like to call it, it's a no knuckle bus. So I can pick this thing up and get it up and down really easy. Okay? Loading it up on the back of the tailgate. Go right up to it. Go right up to it, pop it up, lift it up, roll it in the truck. Now, what you go and look is look at the competition and look how their handles turn. Make your arm And you're either this way or you're this way. But another thing for you guys to do, feel that handle. Just put your fingers around and grab that right quick. Just ask your customer yeah. how, how he carries his suitcase. Does he like carry he's got it like this? this? Yeah. Now, go right. grab the Bomag handle and see if that handle doesn't feel totally different. It's the ergonomics. See yeah, how it's rounded? No squared off edges like that. So it's comfortable on your fingers when you got pressure on it. Little things like that is what I feel. Same way with the multi quick. Go look at the multi quick handle. The video in. Same design pretty much as a whacker. It just has an upturn in it and it should be plastic. See? Totally different. Yeah. That's good. All right.